5 billion internet users, each spending over six hours a day making billions of transactions and clicks. Have you ever thought what could be the cost of a single click? A friend of mine, dreaming of sandy beaches and breaking from the daily grind, clicked to book his flight. Little did he know that cyber criminals had injected a malicious code into airplane provider's website, turning his 250 euro investment into a 5,000 euro nightmare. For some, this loss might be a drop in the ocean. But for many, this can be years of saving. But stakes could be even higher. In August 2023, US healthcare systems were targeted by a ransomware attack. Some facilities had to switch from using IT devices and internet to paperwork. And 16 hospitals had to completely shut down their vital operations. Just imagine being a patient in a need of urgent care, only to be turned away from hospital doors because the systems are down. Today, we live in a digital world that affects real lives, affects real people like you and me. And in this world, our personal integrity is constantly at stake. So who is safeguarding our financial transactions, health records, and private conversations? What happens when the information falls into the wrong hands? And how can we build a society that is not only aware of those risks, but is equipped to handle them? To answer these questions, let's first understand the context. Our digital information is all stored in bits and bytes, accessible from anywhere in the world. And these bits and bytes are not just confined to data centers and cloud, they exist in our homes in the form of smart home devices. These gadgets are information walls containing anything from our personal schedules to energy consumption, and sometimes even have access to cameras and microphones in our homes. In 2022, over 870 million of those devices were shipped to families around the world. But these families were probably not aware that smart home devices get attacked within five minutes of connecting to the internet. Smart devices are not the only players in this game of digital vulnerability. As we invite more technology into our lives, we also start using artificial intelligence-driven solutions, like chatbots. ChatGPT has over 180 million active users. And while ChatGPT and similar solutions can be extremely powerful and useful, most of their users are not aware of risks. Using AI chatbots for sensitive information is like handling your secrets to a digital magician. Sure, they can make some of your problems disappear, but you never know when those problems reappear if someone else asks for it. As we become more connected, we also become more vulnerable. Every device we add, every system we digitize, every piece of information we put online can become target of cyber criminals. And cyber criminals are not some petty thieves. They are sophisticated operators, often backed by vast resources and malicious intent an extremely dangerous combination. So you might be wondering, with all this advanced technology at our fingertips, how come we are still so vulnerable? The root cause is what I call the cybersecurity ignorance cycle. Picture it like this. Average member of our society is not aware of cyber risks. Unaware users 
cannot demand secure products. And results of demand, companies rush insecure products to conquer the market. And when these insecure products eventually fail, it's unaware users who suffer the consequences of data breaches and cyber attacks. But why should you care about cybersecurity? Because cyber attacks and data breaches can affect people around you. In 2020, Elon Musk's Twitter account was hacked, alongside with Bill Gates and other public figures. Cyber criminals posted a Bitcoin scam to their followers, robbing them of $100,000. But this incident is not about compromised accounts. It's about the people who trusted those posts and lost money. If your email gets hacked, it's not just your shopping list getting exposed. Cyber criminals can use your account to scam your friends and family pretending to be you. And with modern AI technologies, they can replicate your voice, replicate your persona, and replicate your image, stealing your identity. That's the thing. When you don't care, take care of security, people who trust you suffer the most. So what can we do about this? We must break the cybersecurity ignorance cycle. And the first step to break it is to raise awareness about the risks. People at the top of tech companies play a huge role in how we interpret cybersecurity. After all, if they don't prioritize security in their companies, neither will their employees who create these amazing products and services. Executives need to make it clear to their employees that cybersecurity is not an IT issue, but it's a business and social one. If you are in a leadership position, ask yourself, what steps are we taking to protect our digital products? And how does this impact our customers and employees? Now let's talk about establishing trust. I want you to think about the last time you went to the grocery store to pick up a snack. You likely looked at the nutrition labels showing you how much calories it had or how much sugar. These nutrition values allowed you to make informed decisions before purchasing the product. And just like nutrition plays a huge role in your health, so does the security of digital applications have an impact on your digital safety. But what did I mean by establishing trust? Let's say you want to improve your budgeting skills and are looking for an application that can help keep track of your budget. Now, for an application to provide you with this service, you need to constantly share with it at least three types of information. What are you purchasing? When are you purchasing? And for how much? This is a quite sensitive information and uh, you would not want to share it with just a random application or human, right? If I asked you right now to constantly share with me your spending habits, you would probably say no, because you don't trust me and you don't know how I will protect your information. So the question is, how do I make sure that you can trust me? How can a budgeting app demonstrate that they can be trusted? What if every digital product had the nutrition labels, just like the snack at the grocery store, showing you in very clear and understandable format how secure is the product and how does the developer take care of your data? CyberCard can be that nutrition label, enabling you to make informed decisions before you click that buy button. And for businesses, it could, it could set a new standard of transparency, enabling better security practices. By taking these steps, we can all together 
try to build a cyber-aware society. Now let's talk about individuals like you and me. Breaking the cybersecurity ignorance cycle is not only about businesses and developers, it's on all of us. Imagine your digital accounts as a safe where you store your most valuable assets. Now, you would not protect it with just one lock, right? Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, adds an extra lock to your digital accounts. It's like a digital bouncer who checks your ID twice before letting you into the club. Now, please raise your hands if you are using a multi-factor authentication for your digital accounts. Quite a few people in a cybersecurity VIP club, I see. For the rest of you, access is easier than you think. OK, now we have our digital bouncer in place. What else can you do to protect your own cybersecurity? Continue with the basics. Use strong passwords. Use password managers. Update your software. And think before clicking that uh, link in your email. Moving on, let's talk about consumer power. Your wallet has a voice. Before purchasing a digital product or device, ask about the security features and how are they protecting your data. Let's amplify your impact. If you read an interesting article or have a tip on cybersecurity, share it on social media. By taking these steps, we are not just passive consumers but we are active participants in shaping a more secure society for all of us. I hope for the future where we all care about cybersecurity. I hope for the future where we all protect our financial transactions, health records, and private information. But most importantly, I hope for the future where we all protect people around us. So let's break the cybersecurity ignorance cycle. Because a cost of a single click should never be a 5,000 euro nightmare, or worse, a matter of life or death.